Dating back to World War II, this formal naval shipyard was a bustling part of Vallejo's economy. But in 1996, the Mare Island base closed. Years of use by the Navy created an unintended legacy. Acres of land contaminated with lead, PCBs, and other toxics. To redevelop the base, a public-private partnership was formed. The Department of Toxic Substances Control, the Navy, as well as developers are now working together to clean up the former base. DTSC has been, has been very aggressive and very proactive in forecasting the kind of work that needed to be performed in order to release areas of the island for reuse. Standing 10 stories tall, this building was used to make submarines. Now it's used to make prefabricated homes. What Henry Ford did with cars, we're trying to do the same thing with, with houses. Using recycled steel, offering LEED certified green building standards, and pre-constructing homes for delivery is why Richard Hassell says Blue Homes is the leader in prefabricated green housing. You can solar power it, you can have thermally heated floors. There really is no limit to the uh, cutting edge environmental in amenities that can be added during the assembly of your home. You can also come in and watch it being assembled. Once the home is built in factory conditions, it can be folded. After that, the home is put on a truck and delivered to the homeowner. Plot of land not included. Mass-produced homes, I think, are a way of the future. And our old thinking, which is anything mass-produced is of low quality, is something we will dispel. Over 100 jobs have been brought to Vallejo because of Blue Homes, and they say there's more to come. Our expansion plans are adding another assembly line next year, so the numbers are only going to go up. The cleanup of Mare Island is not complete, but Blue Homes is one example of labor and manufacturing coming back to this formal naval shipyard. You know, being an ex-shipyarder myself, I, I see the parallels. A lot of companies that have outsourced are now bringing manufacturing back. I think we're on the leading edge.